geometric progression if we are given a series like a plus a r square plus a r cube plus dot 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 till infinity and modulus r is less than one in that case we write s infinity equal to a upon 1 minus r. Example, suppose we have series 1, 1 by 2, 1 by 2 square, and so on. In that case, S infinity will be equal to 1 divided by 1 minus 1 by 2, which would be 2. Let's do some questions. Question number one, we are given if three plus three alpha plus three alpha square plus so on till infinity is equal to 45 by eight. We have to find out alpha. We apply this formula, so a upon one minus r is equal to s so a is 3 divided by 1 minus r is alpha equals 45 by 8 simplify it so we get 1 minus alpha equal to 8 upon 15 alpha equal to 1 minus 8 upon 15, which will give 7 by 50. Let's see next question. If y equals x plus x square plus x cube plus dot 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 till infinity where modulus x is less than 1, then show that x equal to y upon 1 plus 1. Let's consider the solution. Again, we apply the formula s infinity equal to a upon 1 minus r, that is x upon 1 minus x, but this is equal to y, so we get x equal to y minus x, y, or x plus x, y equal to y, x common 1 plus y equal to y, from where x equal to y divided by 1 plus y. Let's consider next question. Question number three. We are given x equal to 1 plus a plus a square till infinity and y equal to 1 plus b plus b square till infinity. And Modulus A is less than 1, modulus B is also less than 1. So we have to prove 1 plus AB plus A square B square till infinity is equal to XY divided by X plus Y minus 1. Now, Let's consider the solution. So x equal to 1 plus a plus a square dot 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 till infinity. So it will give 1 upon 1 minus a. So we can simplify it to get a equal to. So x equal to 1 upon 1 minus a or 1 upon x equal to 
1 minus a or a equal to 1 minus 1 upon x, which is equal to x minus 1 upon x. Similarly, y equal to 1 plus b plus b square plus dot 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 to the infinity will give 1 upon 1 minus b, which will give b equal to y minus 1 divided by 1. Now, let's consider this thing 1 plus a b plus a square b square and we put these values. So, 1 plus a b plus a square b square till infinity it will give 1 upon 1 minus a b sum up to infinity. So we put the values of a and b. So a is equal to x minus 1 upon x and b equal to y minus 1 upon y. So s infinity it will give 1 upon 1 minus x minus 1 upon x times y minus 1 upon y. So we simplify it. So we get xy divided by xy minus, we open the bracket. So we will get xy plus x plus y minus 1. So here xy, xy will cancel out and we will get x by divided by x plus y minus 1 which is answer. Now let's consider next question. If s1, s2, s3, sp be the sums of infinite degrees, Sums of infinite GPs whose first terms are one, two, three, till P and the common difference. Not common difference, but common ratio. Common ratios are 1 upon 2, 1 upon 3, dot, 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 till 1 upon p plus 1. Then we have to show that S1 plus S2 plus dot, 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 till Sp gives p into p plus 3 divided by 2. So let's write series S1 is sum of terms whose S1 is the sum of the GP whose first term is 1 and the common ratio is 1 by 2. So we can write 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 square till infinity which is equal to S1 which will be equal to we apply the formula so a is 1 divided by 1 minus 1 by 2, which will give 2. Now, s2. So that has first term 2 and common difference for upon 3. So 2 plus 2 upon 3 plus 2 upon 3 square plus dot dot to the infinity, which is equal to s2. And uh, here it will be 2 upon 1 minus 1 by 3 and that will give 3. Similarly, we write S3. So S3 has first term 3 and common difference, sorry, common ratio will be 1 by 4. So we start 3 plus 3 by 4 plus 3 by 4 square till infinity S3, which will become 3 divided by 1 minus 1 by 4, 
and it will get four. Now we continue like this. So we write SP. So SP has first of P and common ratio is one upon P plus one. So P plus P upon P plus one plus P upon P plus two and so on till infinity. It will give P upon one minus one upon P plus one. On simplification, we will get P plus one. Now, we have to find out S1 plus S2 plus S3 till SP. So let's write the values. The values are 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus dot 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 plus P plus P plus 1. So we can take this one here. So 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus still P. So we apply formula N into N plus 1 divided by 2 for numbers starting from 1, 2, 3 plus N equals. So it will become P into P plus 1 divided by 2 plus this P right here and uh, we simplify. So on simplification, we will get P into P plus 3 divided by 2, which are answer. Now, let's consider the next question. Question number 5. If ABC are in G2, then show that log a n log p n log c n will be in it let's see the solution a b c r n g It means B square equal to AC. So we take N power. So B to power N equal to A power N C power N. Now we can further write it as B power 2 N or B power N whole square equal to a power n into c power n. So we take log, but we don't shift power. Well, just only this power is to be shifted. So it will become 2 log b power n equal to log a power n plus log c power n. Log m into n is equal to log m plus log m. Although there is formula log m power n is n log m, yet we have not applied that formula because in our question, we have to show that these terms are in AC. So only we have shifted this two to analysis by this formula. So if you remember, if three terms x, y, z are in AP, then 2y must be equal to x plus z. The same is true here. Twice of log b power n equal to log a power n plus log c power n. This means log a power n, log b power n, and log c power n are in AP. Thank you.